how common it is to hear someone say, I'm a visual learner, I prefer pictures, or I learn better by listening, I'm an acoustic learner. The belief that we all have a learning style and we should learn according to that style is widely popular today. We all believe in learning styles, even our teachers. An international survey showed that 96% of teachers believe in the idea of learning styles. However, surprisingly enough, there is no scientific evidence that we should learn according to our preferred learning style if we want to achieve maximum learning results. Instead, there are studies that have shown the opposite. For example, if you are a visual learner, you may benefit more by switching to reading from time to time. Why is this belief then about learning styles so popular? Well, it's simple, because it serves as an excuse for poor performance. Our teacher in school gives us only passages to read, and that's why I get these bad grades, because that's totally against my learning style. I'm a visual learner. Well, it's always easier to blame a teaching style than it is to blame yourself. But maybe in reality, you're not motivated enough, you're not focused enough in class, and uh, you don't want to admit it. It's true that we all have a strong way to learn. However, we should always force ourselves to work with our weaknesses, not only with our strengths. That's the right approach, not only with learning, but also with any aspect of our personality. By exploring new material in different learning modes, you achieve better in coding, as we discussed on the first video. By matching your instruction with your learning style, you decide to stay within your comfort zone. That's not effective learning. Even worse, that can backfire and make your weak sides even weaker. So, to recap, maybe you have convinced yourself or someone else has convinced you that you are a certain type of learner and this is how you should be learning and that's written in your genes, etc. Get this idea out of your head now. Explore your full potential, because you do have full potential. Forget about learning styles. Always try to have a flexible repertoire of learning tools and use them according to the context. So, to learn effectively, mix it up! Hey guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to press the like button. If you don't want to miss more videos like this, press the big red subscribe button. I've also written a book on how to learn more effectively based on research in cognitive psychology. If you want to check it out, click on the picture of the book. I'll see you in the next video.